Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be another one about the Omega 32U2 chip on the, the original APM252 version 5. Somebody in my comments asked me uh, or had issues connecting to his APM. It, when you plug in the USB cable, it no longer does that ding dong sound or whatever. And uh, so I suggested it for him to try progr programming the um, 32 chip. So what you're going to want to do is find two cables like this and then you're going to have to break one apart or cut it or whatever because you're going to need to solder one wire for this. Alright, so open up your APM. I have pins on mine here and a couple of wires. You're just going to have to ignore that part. So the first thing I suggest doing here is find a marker and just color one side so this way you know which way it goes back on and you don't accidentally put it on the wrong side so you just put some white out on this side and this side or whatever just to make it a little bit easier all right so crack these two boards apart the reason why I say that is because you can accidentally plug it in this way okay so you don't need this guy right now what you're after is this guy right here and this is the version 5 board if you have the version 2 board you're gonna have to let me know in the comments because uh, your reset would be on this second pin right here and if you flip it this way I believe it would be here but not on this board here the version 5 alright so the guy we're after here the focus you can already see my soldered blob right there is right there on this resistor so it's a little difficult if you're not that good at soldering you might want to have to you might have to skip this but if you take your time you can I do you can put some tape on this too so you don't get any solder around as well that's up to you guys so I'll just grab a piece of wire that you cut one of the ends off of tin this wire Alright, so just do a little test, lift up the board, make sure the wire is good there. Alright, so that's it for this part of it. So you can hot glue this if you want, but it's only going to be a temporary. You can also put some tape on top of it as well. Again, that's up to you. Just put those two boards back together again. All right, so with the USB facing this side, we're going to be working on this guy here. So we're going to turn it this way. I'm not sure if you saw that if I was out of the video. USB is on this side. Two red dots are there, blah, blah, blah. All right. So prep one of these cables. Take off all three of the wires on one of them. So this cable gets plugged in right here. So we're going to be working with white, red, and black there in this direction. Put it like that. So the very first white wire now, and here's the ISP. The first one is SCK, and SCK is right here. The second one is MOSI. That's beside 
SCK. Just like that. Next one is MISO. That's on the top left. Like that. And then we'll get rid of this reset one as well. And the reset one is on the bottom left. Like that. With the next cable, just remove the white wire. Actually, you can remove all three of them on this one too. So really, you didn't have to remove the white wire. They you can just let that guy back in there. All right. So here again, like this. So white's going to be on the bottom. So the way it goes here, it's brown, positive, and in your switch. But we're not using the switch, obviously. We're just after the bolts here. So it goes on like that. So back on the ISP again. It's going to get a little bit harder to see. Ground is on the bottom and positive is at the top. So the red wire gets plugged in here. Like that. And then your ground wire gets plugged on the bottom. There you go. Alright, so we're already done prepping this board up now. Now I'll sh plug this in and show you the software quickly. Alright, so plug in your USB cable for your ISP. Go into my package. Again, you're going to have to watch the unbreaking APM to install the drivers properly and everything like that. I'm not going to get into that into this video. So if you have the USB tiny, click on this guy. If you have the AVR like this guy here, click on this guy. Just push in the key. So it's taking a long time like this is quite normal, at least on mine. So just push the uh, space bar once here. It's going to seem it might be frozen. Just have patience. And it also might give you those USB errors again. But it usually will kick in on its own. All right, push any key, it's done. And unplug your ISP. So now if you want, you can try plugging it in with the USB here to see if it works. All right guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. And personally, I like doing these videos more when um, my users ask me questions that I don't know. I'd rather uh, do something like this than make those build type videos, especially because um, after I'm done making a video like this, YouTube doesn't show me on the right side that it's been done before. So usually I'm the first with these, this kind of stuff here. So uh, anyways, fun little project again, kept me busy for a little bit. Thanks for the question. And uh, yeah, that's it. Question.